Item number SCP-5163, Object Class Safe, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-5163 is to be kept in a standard containment locker with N-73. Any request that involved the handling or removal of the object of its containment must be authorized by the site director. While handling SCP-5163, personnel should wear protective gloves and make sure to never allow their skin to come into contact with the object. In the case personnel accidentally or not touches SCP-5163, they are to be administered with amnestics and isolated for observation. Affected personnel is to be restored to their position only when or if they no longer present significant symptoms of SCP-5163's effects. Description SCP-5163 appears to be a teddy bear measuring approximately 26 centimeters in height with creamy white fur and light blue details. When a human makes physical contact with SCP-5163, the subject will instantly develop a certain level of emotional attachment to the object. The intensity of this effect and the way it manifests over the victims varies with each case. However, it often causes the subject to consider SCP-5163 as something of extreme importance to themselves. The use of amnestics has proven to be relatively effective in healing affected subjects, although in a few cases subjects develop symptoms of depression after the amnestization. No other anomalous properties were observed. Discovery SCP-5163 was acquired by the Foundation on the 29th of April 2009 when a group of field agents who were working on an unrelated assignment accidentally found the object in an abandoned house from a rural zone of Texas, which they were planning to occupy for the days needed to complete their duties. After installing surveillance cameras in and outside the house, Agent Nicholas Campbell noticed SCP-5163 on a table inside a room of the house. The object was above a small piece of paper, which caught his attention. After grabbing the object to get the paper, Agent Nicholas immediately began to act unusually due to the effects of SCP-5163. The following is transcript of the video record during the incident. Upon grabbing the object, Agent Nicholas starts smiling and staring at it. He then begins to rub the object against his face. Hey Nick, what the hell are you doing? Stop playing around dude, we got work to do here. I know I know, but isn't this little boy the cutest thing ever? I can't leave it here alone. That's it, I will carry it with me during the rest of our mission and I want to take it home too. What are you talking about Nick? You okay? We have no time to waste here. Did you forget that SCP beep escaped and we were here looking for evidence of its current whereabouts? Why are you acting like a child? You are not like this. Just throw this damn beer away and focus on the mission. I'm not understanding you guys. Would you really abandon something this precious in such an isolated and dangerous place? Damn! It seems like you two are crueler than I thought. You can't be serious. Let me just get rid of this stupid toy for you. Agent Coulson then approaches Nicholas and slaps away the object from his hands. Coulson, you bastard! What did it do to you? How can you treat my dear and cute friend like this? You better have a good explanation, because I am truly pissed off now. Wait a minute. You are right. Oh no. What have I have done? I am so ashamed now. I will never forgive myself for this. I won't forgive you either, Colton. Nicholas then proceeds to punch Colton, who doesn't react and falls to the ground. Agent Reynolds then holds back Nicholas, preventing him to cause more harm to Colton. Guys, just stop! What's going on with you two? Are you truly fighting over a damn teddy bear? Pretty sure you both would get fired if our superiors find out about this. This damn teddy bear is my best friend now. I don't care if I get fired because of Fit Reynolds, and I can't forgive Colson for hurting him like that. 
Let go of me, Reynolds! I want to kill him! Yeah, he's right, Reynolds. I can't live anymore knowing that I caused harm to our precious friend. That means the world to me. I can't understand why I did something so terrible. To be honest, at this point, I don't really care about my life anymore. So go ahead and kill me, guys. Make justice for the coolest and cutest teddy bear of all times. Agent Colson remains lying on the ground, seemingly depressed. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but I can't allow this situation to continue. At this point, Agent Reynolds applies a sedative on Agent Nicholas, who soon falls unconscious. Colson, I hope I won't need to do the same to you. I believe we are dealing with something anomalous here. I will contact the Foundation and request reinforcements. Agent Reynolds then contacts the Foundation, explains the situation, and asks for reinforcements. While Agent Colson doesn't show any changes in his behavior. 25 minutes later, Foundation personnel arrived at the locale. Both Agents Nicholas Campbell and Colson Jones were treated with amnestics and removed from the mission for observation and psychological evaluation, being replaced by two other agents. While SCP-5163 was contained without further incident, Although both agents are currently unable to remember the interaction with SCP-5163, they occasionally still claim that they feel as if something is missing. Addendum 1. Agent Nicholas Campbell was deemed to be free of any effects regarding SCP-5163 on the 25th of August, 2013. After stating that he no longer feels anything unusual, while Agent Colson Jones still claimed to feel an unexplainable emptiness, which could mean that SCP-5163's effects might affect certain individuals more than others. Nonetheless, both agents are currently able to perform their duties without any significant problems. Addendum The piece of paper found together with the object had the following writing by an unknown subject. I'm so, so sorry, Kenny, but I can't stay here anymore. I need to be strong and leave you behind, even though that feels almost impossible to me. My heart is falling apart, and I am crying so much while writing this because I am 100% sure that I will never again find anything as cute and as amazing as you are. But I truly need to go as I have been spending more than 15 hours just playing with you every day, and I need to focus on something else for now. But know that you are always on my mind, and to be honest, I will probably return to be with you sooner or later, so please just wait for me. This house is yours now.